Did you know that up to nine out of 10 liver diseases could be prevented? And the most surprising part, it can be done with simple changes to your daily routine. Think about this. How many times have you heard that the liver is a silent organ, only showing signs when it's already severely compromised? And how many of those times did you assume the problem was just alcohol or some rare disease, not the things you eat, drink or put on your skin every day? What if I told you that there are substances hidden in cosmetics, harmless foods, the water you drink or even the air you breathe that quietly overload your liver for years? In this video, I'll explain the six worst toxins for your liver that you need to eliminate as soon as possible. And at the end, I'll address a sensitive topic, the medications that, despite being common, can cause serious liver damage and what you can do to protect yourself. My name is Kenji Oshiro, and this is the Global Health Guide channel. Subscribe now because your health is the priority here. The liver is an essential organ responsible for over 500 functions in our body. It filters substances, metabolizes medications, regulates cholesterol, produces bile, and stores vitamins and minerals. But all of this only works well when it's healthy. The truth is, over 100 million people worldwide live with some degree of liver damage, and most don't even know it. Many of these people are exposed daily to toxic substances that cause inflammation, fat buildup in the liver, and, over time, serious diseases like fatty liver, hepatitis, cirrhosis, and even cancer. The first villain on our list is everywhere, the environment around us. We're talking about the air we breathe, the water we drink, the food we eat, and the products we use on our skin or at home. All of these can be loaded with invisible toxins like pesticides, heavy metals, microplastics, phthalates, formaldehyde, and many others. And who has to process all of this? Your liver. These toxins enter the body through breathing, ingestion, or skin absorption, directly overloading the liver. Over time, it stops being that healthy, clean, perfectly functioning organ and becomes inflamed, fatty, fibrotic, and in some cases, hardened. What we call a compromised or diseased liver. But what can you do, practically, to protect yourself? First tip. Thoroughly clean your fruits and vegetables. Pesticides are present in nearly all non-organic produce, and rinsing with water alone isn't enough. A simple and effective method is to soak your food in a solution of water and baking soda. About one liter of water with one or two tablespoons of baking soda for 15 to 20 minutes. Then scrub well with a brush and rinse. This helps remove most pesticide residues without peeling, where many nutrients are found. Another effective option is vinegar. For every three parts water, add one part vinegar, soak for up to 20 minutes, scrub and store normally. A handy trick is to soak fruits in this mixture in the fridge. The cold helps remove even more residues. Second tip. Pay attention to the labels of personal care products. Many shampoos, creams, perfumes, deodorants, soaps, and makeup contain highly toxic substances like phthalates, formaldehyde, parabens, and synthetic fragrances. These are absorbed through the skin and go straight into your bloodstream, overloading your liver. Have you checked your shampoo's ingredients today? It can be eye-opening. Whenever possible, choose products free of these substances. Look for labels that say phthalate-free, formaldehyde-free, fragrance-free, or paraben-free. Third tip, use a water filter. In many areas, tap water contains heavy metals like lead, mercury, and arsenic, especially in homes with old plumbing. Plus, most drinking water worldwide now contains microplastics, tiny plastic particles from bottles, packaging, and even synthetic clothing. Recent studies suggest a person might unknowingly ingest the equivalent of a credit card's worth of plastic each week. That's extremely concerning. A good filtration system can reduce exposure to these toxins. Choose certified filters that remove heavy metals, microorganisms, and microplastics. Fourth tip. 
ventilate your home. It sounds simple, but in big cities or highly industrialized areas, keeping windows closed all the time traps indoor pollutants, especially if you use cleaning products, scented candles, sprays, or disinfectants. Letting air circulate reduces the concentration of these contaminants. Now let's talk about something even more dangerous, aflatoxins. These are toxic compounds produced by a type of mold that grows on stored grains like corn, rice, peanuts, nuts, coffee, and even cocoa. The problem? These toxins have no smell or taste, and even in tiny amounts, they can be extremely harmful to the liver. They've been linked to liver cancer and serious diseases. So, how can you protect yourself? First, inspect your food. If it smells odd, feels soft, moldy, or damp, discard it immediately. Even if mold isn't visible, it could be there. Second, store grains in dry, dark, tightly sealed containers. Avoid exposure to moisture or heat, which encourages mold growth. And a heads up, peanuts are one of the main foods contaminated by aflatoxins. Always buy from trusted brands and check expiration dates. Have you ever heard of aflatoxins? Or did you think alcohol was the biggest threat to your liver? Let me know in the comments if you've dealt with any of these issues or if any of these tips surprised you. Now, let's move to something even more alarming, substances hidden in processed foods. One of them is so harmful it's been banned in several countries. The shocking part? It's still in supermarkets in many places, disguised under different names on labels. I'm talking about trans fats. Trans fats were created by the food industry to enhance flavor, texture, and shelf life in ultra-processed foods. They're cheap, easy to use, and make products taste better. The problem? They're extremely harmful to heart health and, above all, to the liver. They raise bad cholesterol, LDL, lower good cholesterol, HDL, promote fat buildup in the liver, and inflame the body. In short, they're poison disguised as food. You find them in cookies, chips, frozen pizzas, instant noodles, cakes, margarine, and even some breakfast cereals. Even if a label says zero G trans fat, it doesn't mean it's free of it. In some countries, regulations allow companies to claim zero if there's less than 0.5 grams per serving. But if you eat more than one serving, you're consuming trans fats without knowing. Another trick is using technical terms that go unnoticed. If you see partially hydrogenated fat or hydrogenated fat on the label, avoid that product. And here's another issue. When some companies remove trans fats, they replace them with other harmful substances like sugar or maltodextrin. Swapping one toxin for another doesn't solve the problem. The best approach is to minimize processed foods and carefully read ingredient lists. Speaking of fats, let's touch on a sensitive topic, refined vegetable oils. Many people think they're making a healthy choice by using sunflower, corn, soy, or canola oil for cooking. But what's rarely mentioned is that these oils are highly processed, extracted with chemical solvents, and easily oxidized, especially when heated. When you heat these oils, particularly for frying, they release free radicals and toxic compounds that go straight to your liver and arteries. These byproducts increase oxidative stress, inflame tissues, and overload liver functions. In other words, what seems like a simple meal can become a silent trigger for serious diseases. Here's straightforward advice. Avoid frying food with any oil. No oil is good for frying not even olive oil or coconut oil. Frying itself is a harmful process. Instead, use fats only for light sautéing or reheating on low heat. The best options are extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and ghee, clarified butter. Even these should be used carefully, without reaching high temperatures. For cold use, like in salads or as a finishing touch, extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, and some nuts are excellent. They provide healthy fats like omega-9 and natural antioxidants that help protect the liver from inflammation. Now, let's talk about another silent villain, hidden sugar. 
You've probably heard someone say, I don't even eat sugar. But many people believe they avoid sugar just because they don't add it to their coffee or skip desserts. The truth is, sugar is hidden in almost everything. Juices, yogurts, sauces, sandwich bread, cereal bars, and even healthy or natural products. Take orange juice as an example. One glass can contain the equivalent of two tablespoons of sugar. Why? Because juicing removes the fiber, leaving concentrated fructose. Without fiber, this sugar hits the liver fast, and if it's not used as energy, it turns into fat. That's how fatty liver develops, affecting millions and potentially leading to more serious conditions if untreated. Another example is store-bought yogurt. Many have more sugar than soda. What should be a probiotic food packed with beneficial bacteria often ends up being a dessert in disguise. Check the label. A small container can have one to two tablespoons of sugar. And there's more. Artificial sweeteners can also be a trap. Products labeled as stevia often contain only a small percentage of the plant and a lot of added sugars, like maltodextrin, which has a very high glycemic index. To reduce sugar and protect your liver, use pure, natural sweeteners like 100% stevia, erythritol, or monk fruit. Avoid sucralose, aspartame, saccharine, and other artificial sweeteners entirely. Your liver will thank you. Tell me in the comments. Do you make a habit of checking ingredient labels before buying? Or have you fallen for a healthy product that was actually full of sugar or trans fats? Now, let's get to a sensitive but critical topic. Medications that can harm your liver including ones sold over the counter that many people use regularly without realizing the risks. Medications, when used responsibly, save lives. They're vital for many treatments, especially when prescribed by professionals with proper monitoring. The issue isn't the medication itself. It's self-medication, long-term use without oversight, and not checking the liver during treatment. A classic example is acetaminophen, known as paracetamol in many countries. It's one of the most widely used pain relievers and fever reducers, sold freely in pharmacies, supermarkets, and even convenience stores. But what many don't know is that acetaminophen, when taken in high doses or for long periods, is one of the most toxic medications for the liver. A safe dose, as prescribed by a doctor, is generally fine. But overuse, like taking multiple pills a day or mixing with alcohol, can cause drug-induced hepatitis, acute liver failure, or even death. This is because the liver metabolizes this drug and one of its byproducts, when accumulated, is highly toxic. And that's just the start. Other common medications that can harm the liver include antibiotics, like amoxicillin with clavulanic acid, which, while widely used, can cause liver reactions in some people, leading to inflammation, elevated liver enzymes, and symptoms like fatigue, jaundice, or abdominal pain. Oral antifungals like fluconazole and ketoconazole, effective against fungal infections, but requiring caution, especially in those with a history of liver issues. Statins, used to control cholesterol. They're life-saving when prescribed correctly, but can raise liver enzymes, or cause muscle pain linked to liver damage in some cases. That's why regular blood tests are essential for anyone on statins. The key takeaway, don't demonize medications, but use them responsibly. If you're on long-term medication, talk to your doctor about its effects on the liver and insist on regular tests to check enzymes like ALT, AST, GGT, and bilirubin. These simple tests can catch liver changes early and prevent serious complications. Also, avoid mixing medications with alcohol. Combining alcohol with drugs like acetaminophen, anti-inflammatories, or antibiotics can significantly amplify liver damage. Speaking of serious liver inflammation, we can't overlook viral hepatitis, especially types B and C. These infections spread through contaminated blood or fluids are still common worldwide. The good news? Hepatitis B can be prevented with a vaccine, 
one of the most effective and safe tools in modern medicine. Hepatitis C, while lacking a vaccine, can be prevented with simple steps like avoiding sharing sharp objects or needles, using condoms during sex, ensuring sterile equipment for medical procedures, tattoos, or piercings. If you've never been vaccinated against hepatitis B, talk to your doctor. The vaccine is available at health clinics and recommended for all ages. Now you might be wondering, is there anything I can do to help my liver recover? The answer is yes. The liver has an incredible ability to regenerate. If you adopt healthy habits, eliminate the main culprits and include beneficial foods and nutrients, it can restore itself over time. Here are three groups of foods and drinks that help protect and even regenerate your liver. Protective drinks. Green tea, rich in catechins, antioxidants that improve liver enzymes and reduce fat buildup in the liver. Coffee. In moderation, two to three cups daily, it has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant effects and may lower the risk of cirrhosis and liver cancer. Golden milk, made with plant-based milk, like almond milk, turmeric, and a pinch of black pepper. Turmeric contains curcumin, a well-studied compound with liver protective effects. Healthy fats, avocado, extra virgin olive oil, and omega-3 rich fish, like salmon and sardines, reduce inflammation and help the liver process fats better. These healthy fats also improve lipid profiles, protect the heart, and reduce insulin resistance. Antioxidants and cruciferous vegetables. Vitamin E, found in sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, and nuts, has antioxidant properties that reduce oxidative stress in the liver. Cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and cabbage support liver detoxification by stimulating enzymes that eliminate toxins. A special mention for artichokes, which contain cinnarin, a compound that boosts bile production, aids fat digestion, and has liver protective effects. Note, you don't need vitamin E supplements or miracle capsules. Natural foods are safer and more effective. The final message is clear. Your liver works hard for you every day, filtering, cleansing, and protecting your body. The best way to give back is to make conscious choices. Avoid toxins, use medications with guidance, eat mindfully, and give your body time. Its healing capacity is truly remarkable. Tell me in the comments, which of these changes will you start implementing today? If this content resonated with you, subscribe to the channel, share it with someone who needs it, and turn on notifications to keep getting content that can truly transform your health.